Welcome back to Just What the Doctor Ordered. It is I, the great and powerful and strikingly handsome Dr. Omeb. Today, we're taking a look at the Epiphone Tony Iommi SG Special and comparing it to my Gibson Tony Iommi SG Special. I've been hearing some great things about Epiphone in recent years, and I thought I'd give him a shot again, because I will admit I was a Gibson snob for many of my younger years. Uh, I may have been brainwashed by that slogan, only a Gibson is good enough. Sure, I could play another brand, but why settle for one of those peasant instruments? Now, as a wise middle-aged rock and roll doctor strapped with six figures of student loans for my fancy title, I've realized those import guitars aren't so bad after all. But anyway, let's get into this. We've got two guitars inspired by a metal legend both with a few differences under the surface for us to check out. So let's start with the high-end offering, the Gibson Tony Iommi Signature SG Special. The USA model stays pretty true to Tony's iconic 64 SG and comes in at about 2,400 bucks. We're talking a lightweight mahogany body, a familiar Iommi rounded neck profile, and a slick Indian rosewood fingerboard that plays great. The guitar comes with Gibson USA P90 pickups, which honestly are some of the best clean sounding pickups in my arsenal. The type of pots aren't mentioned, uh, but the description does boast hand wired orange drop capacitors. Lastly, the hard shell case and coveted monkey sticker that everybody wants. Now let's look at the more accessible Epiphone Tony Iommi Signature SG Special. These are usually about $9.99, but I caught it on sale and saved a couple hundred bucks. It gets the classic SG lines right, but remember this model features a two-piece mahogany body. Uh, this one also has Indian laurel uh, for the fingerboard while the Gibson has rosewood. Of course, both woods offer smooth playability. Uh, as for the sound, the Epiphone Pro P90s with CTS potentiometers, orange drop capacitors still seem to deliver that signature SG growl that we're looking for. And yes, you even get a hard shell case with it. But I forgot to check to see if it came with the monkey sticker, so I'm fired. One thing to point out, notice how the vintage cherry finish uh, still lets the wood grain show through on the Gibson. That's the nature of the nitrocellulose lacquer. It's thinner, allows the wood to resonate more freely. Uh, on the Epiphone, that vintage cherry looks a lot brighter, bolder, and more solid red. That's due to the thicker polyurethane coating, affecting both the appearance and slightly dampening the natural wood resonance. Now here's something I noticed about the Epiphone compared to the Gibson immediately upon taking it out of the case. The neck appears slightly bowed backwards. I looked at this from every which way trying to figure out what was going on. After talking to a friend, he pointed out that the binding on the Gibson was flush with the body. The Epiphone neck seems to sit higher in the pocket. This slightly alters the feeling, especially in the higher frets. It feels a little less sleek to me. But how do they sound? Let's take a listen. For reference, I'm playing through my Fractal FM9 on the settings that I use when I do Sabbath shows with Vinny Apice. I have not modified the EQ in post, so you can hear the guitars as they came out of my Fractal.
sonically, I can't tell much of a difference between the two guitars. The Epiphone P90 certainly hold their own against the Gibsons. Uh, however, I'm recording in a studio environment. I didn't get to test it live. Overall, there's some glaring differences in the guitars, especially with the neck issue and the finish. While the Epiphone sounds good, it feels and looks cheap compared to the Gibson. I really did go into this with an open mind, wanting to like the Epiphone, because I'll be traveling for some gigs with Vinny and Liliac, and I didn't really want to take my Gibson on the road. But honestly, the Chinese knockoff on my wall with the JD pickups plays every bit as good as the Epiphone and sounds better because of the JD pickups. So I returned the Epiphone mainly because of the neck issue. I'm kind of bummed, but lots of other guitars I'd rather spend 800 to 1,000 bucks on. So in the battle between the Gibson and the Epiphone, the Gibson wins no contest. Uh, if you can afford it, don't bother with the Epiphone. Maybe you should consider a Gibson SG Special. It's practically the same guitar for about $1,000 less. Thanks for watching Just What the Doctor Ordered with Dr. Omeb. Did you have a different experience with the Epiphone Iomi? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more reviews, music, and my tips on music business on The Melodic Marketer. I'll see you next time.